Today we are going to discuss normal distribution problem. So if capital X is a normal variate with mean mu 30 and standard deviation 5, find probability of 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 and probability of x greater than or equal to 45. So let us consider mark slice between 26 and 40 and marks greater than or equal to 45 with the mean is 30 marks and the standard deviation is 5 marks okay let us consider so given one mu mean is 30 marks and the standard deviation is 5 marks so what we have to do is uh, for 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 marks we have to find out the probability similarly x greater than or equal to 45 so what we have to do is the each value 26 40 and 45 you convert in terms of the z now we are considering x is equal to 26 you convert into the z z is equal to x minus mu by sigma 26 minus mu 30 sigma 5 so that is nothing but minus 0 0.8 similarly consider x is equal to 40 x is equal to 40 z value becomes 2 Similarly, consider x is equal to 45, z value becomes 3. Now, you take consider the first question, 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40. Okay, that is nothing but probability of 26 is the z value is minus 0 0.8, minus 0 0.8 less than or equal to, in place of x you have to write z, okay, less than or equal to, 40 means 2. So, you have to draw a bell shaped curve having z is equal to 0, minus 0 0.8, you have to place it in the left hand side, 2, place it in the right hand side. The area is nothing but the, this is the shaded area, you have to find out. So, how will you find out means, that is nothing but the area from z is equal to 0 to, z is equal to g minus 0 0.8, okay, plus, area from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 2 area from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 2 these values are nothing but from the normal distribution table 0 0.4772 0 0.2881 if you add these two values you are going to get it as 0 0.7653 okay probability of 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 is 0 0.7653 similarly probability of x greater than or equal to 45 is nothing but you convert the value in terms of z in place of x you substitute z z greater than or equal to 45 z value is 3 z greater than or equal to 3 now consider a bell shaped curve place z is equal to 3 on the right hand side z greater than or equal to 3 that means this is the area you have to find out how will you get this area means 0 0.5 minus this to the right of z is equal to 0 the area is 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 3 z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 3 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4986 you are going to get it as 0 0.00135 therefore probability of x greater than or equal to 45 marks is 0 0.00135 okay thank you